he was such a happy kid. Yeah, he was just a fun kid to be around. And um, we used to take him to a lot of arty things that we used to go to and shows and plays. And and that's how he grew up, with all the plays and doing all the shows and then has put him onto that pathway. First time I've seen him in costume, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a surprise, you know, like, it was like, whoa, this is my son. I said, well, I'm still going to love you, like I love you now, you know, nothing's going to change, and um, yeah, you are who you are. to a client, I'll actually get my illustrator to do a proper illustration of a detailed picture of what it's going to look like. Being a drag queen and drag culture is, is an art form. That's sort of the only reason they do it. The same as someone who might do ballet or something like that. It's very little to do with sexuality and like the, the person's own sexual orientation. It's more just for the art form. It's obvious that, you know, Scarlett is a man. They, they overdo the makeup to make it look so obvious because it's sort of a, yeah, it's this art form and culture in itself. I prefer to be called she when I'm in drag because it's sort of like validating the art that I'm doing. So when I get called he when I'm in drag, it's sort of like not validating the fact that I've put on all this work and effort into becoming a drag queen. Do you know what I mean? I released a song called Tail Lights about two months prior to the video clip and I wanted to do a video clip for a while and I had this sort of concept about what if you take a drag queen performing and you take it and you put it in the middle of the city on a Saturday surrounded by people who may have never seen that before and also don't know what's going on. So there was really very little planned in the video clip. It was more just, I'm gonna take Scarlett, dress her up as crazy as possible and put her in people's faces a bit of like a gorilla, gorilla video style and just get her to just dance to the song and just see what happens. He's a lot shyer when he's Anthony to when he's Scarlett. Scarlett is me um, with about 10 times the amount of confidence. When I get into makeup, it's kind of like putting on a wall paint and you know, getting prepared for battle. Like it, it, it sort of gives you that courage and that confidence to do anything. 